Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. He just told you. What do you got to do? Got to keep the commandments. That's the mark of righteousness. And sin is the mark of the beast. Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. He just told you. What do you got to do? Got to keep the commandments. That's the mark of righteousness, and sin is the mark of the beast. And the faith of Jesus. He just told you. What do you got to do? Got to keep the commandments. That's the mark of righteousness, and sin is the mark of the beast. Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers Laban worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hope for the elect. Believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, And here we go again. If sin <clears throat> is the MOTB, you can't repent from it. But see, that's why these novices get out here, all right, and profess they have some type of knowledge. And the Lord is not dealing with you. First, let's get to that first point. This guy says that keeping the commandments, all right, <laughs> is the mark of righteousness. Okay? Well, the scriptures say if you offend in one, you offend in all. Matter of fact, let's get that. Okay? Because these guys puffed up in pride, you know, breaking down scriptures all wrong, but yet still, you know, believe that they got it. This is the book of James, chapter 2 and verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. See, you offend in one point, you guilty of all. Meaning what? The law is not going to save you, man. All right? And we keep the law to the best of our ability to show our faith, fear, and reverence toward Yahweh Bashar Bashar. All right? The laws are eventually going to be written in our inner part. The Lord made us subject, all right, to hope. We under the rule of hoping that the Lord have mercy on us. Okay? And, and, and I got wind of this video from from the young brother uh yashaya all right and and this guy he simply you know bugged the hell out man let's listen to the madness one more time verse 12 here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of god and the faith of jesus yeah, he just blew by, you know, you got to have both, all right? Scriptures say faith without works is dead, right? Let's get it. This is same book of James, chapter 2 and verse 14. What do it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Yeah, can faith save you, all right, if, if you're not believing all right on the the correct doctrine of yahabasha all right or, or you're not following the commandments to the best of your ability okay it says if a brother or sister be naked and be destitute of daily food and one say unto them depart in peace be ye warmed and filled notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Yeah, if you don't give them those things to warm them and eat them, how is it going to profit them, right? Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone, see? Yet, 
yea, excuse me, yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. See? All right? And, and, and part of those works is believing on, on, uh, on him who have sent. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Right? St. John chapter 6. You know, these guys trying to constrain you to the law. Like those wicked Pharisees, man. This is St. John chapter 6. And verse 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High, right? Yahweh answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High that ye believe on him whom he have sent. See, that ye believe on him whom he have sent, right? So those are the works, all right, for the for the believers. that They believe, man, all right? And you got to have both. That's what Revelation 14 and 12 is, is talking about. Let's get it. Revelation chapter 14. And that's another thing. This guy... Saying that sin is the MOTB. <laughs> uh, we gonna we gonna disprove that because if the the MOTB, as he said, is sin, you can't repent from it. You see that? This is Revelation chapter fourteen and verse twelve. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh. Saying we just read, man, you offended one. You offending all. All right? What about the law of faith? What about, matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 3. See, these guys, they, they, they try and constrain you, all right? And, and they're really unbelievers. You see? Um... Let's get to the point. Leave us verse 27. Yep, this is Romans chapter 3 and verse 27. The folks are boasting and keeping the law. <laughs> right? Like this guy. It says, where is boasting then? It, ex ex it is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. See? That's a law, man. If you don't believe on your heart by shah, shah. All right, you're not going to be saved. Okay, that's period. You know, this guy, you know, in his own folly, all right, believe he got, he got the studded armbands. <laughs> t-shirt looks like a, a t-shirt from the NWO days of wrestling, right? What does it say? True, true tour, is that? Excuse me, true royal family, right? Is, is what the t shirt says. But this guy has no understanding, man. All right, especially when you say sin, all right, is the MOTB. Matter of fact, let's go back to uh, Revelation chapter 14, right? Because this is a penalty for taking it, and you can't get rid of it. Matter of fact, Let's go one chapter back and get it. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. Yeah, the karagma. All right, which is that RFID microchip, you see? And that no man might buy or sell. How can you buy and sell with sin? Come on, man. How can you buy and sell with sin? And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark 
or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding, this guy obviously doesn't have understanding. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Yeah, six six six, man. All right, the marks per per placed upon Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. All right, the man of sin, that man of lawlessness. Okay, so this guy, you know, matter of fact. Let's read the penalty for taking it. You can't buy and sell with sin. How can you buy and sell with sin? You don't, you don't go to him and say, hey, yeah, I sinned today. Uh, let me get uh, uh, 20 wings. <laughs> Jake, man, right? This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image of this system, right? Beast, NATO, EU, all right? The conglomerate of nations set up by Esau, Edom, okay? It says, and his image, yeah, his ways, his policies, his laws, and receive his mark, that, that, that mark, the MOTB, the RFID microchip, the NLC microchip across the pond, right? In his forehead or in his hand left or right it didn't specify it said hand right it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture see if you receive that mark it, it doesn't you know that's how you know it's not sin man all right it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb see there's no coming back so if it's sin shit we all do man but that lets you know this guy has no understanding man period this is the book of hebrews chapter 10 and verse 1 for the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices, which they offer year by year continually, make the comers thereto, thereunto, excuse me, perfect. Yeah, with all those sacrifices that we did, all right, when we went off. It, it, there was no way for it to make us perfect, right? For then would they not have ceased to be offered because that the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins, right? But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. So you can't keep the law perfect, man. You don't even have uh, bulls and, and goats and sheep and livestock to sacrifice. What is this guy talking about? It says, for, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. See, <laughs> Yahweh Shai is the ultimate sacrifice. All right. That's why we're subject to hope. All right. It says, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offering and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. See that? Thou hast had no pleasure. The Lord don't care about you sacrificing the bloods and goats, man. Right? It says, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me, yes, yeah, written of Yahweh Shai. All right, that ultimate sacrifice to do thy will, O Most High. Above, when he said, sacrifice and offering, and offering burnt offerings, and offerings for sin, thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, 
which are offered by the law. See that? So this guy plainly going off. No understanding. All right. Trying to constrain you to the law and he can't keep the law perfect. All right. No one can keep the law perfect. And again, sin is not the MOTB. All right. You can't repent from it. Okay. This is the book of Titus. And it's not meant to be too long. Straight into the point. This is the book of Titus chapter 3 and verse 9. But avoid foolish questionings and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law. <laughs> For they are unprofitable and vain. See? They're unprofitable and vain. The Lord told us to go out. All right, and, and teach the children of Israel with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give them warning from me. And part of that warning is telling you not to take the MOTB, all right, which is the RFID market share, and not sin. Okay? Let's see. Yep, let's get it. This is the book of Judges, chapter 5, and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Why does archers have a noise? Just letting you know this is a dark saying, all right, about the ICBM missiles. It says, in the places of drawing water, your, your captivity, your slavery, there shall they rehearse, see, rehearse the righteous acts toward the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages, in Israel, then shall the people go, the people of the Lord go down to the gate. See, it's just a rehearsal. All right. And the law is not going to save you. Keeping the law is not going to save you, but breaking it, you're definitely going to die. All right. That's why we keep it to the best of our ability. This is a dress rehearsal. Right. This is the book of Second Ezra. Chapter 9 and verse 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So you got to have both. All right. <laughs> Again, you have to have both. Shall be preserved from the set perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my border. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning so you can't make yourself of the elect all right again we're subject to hope okay but if you think that sin is the motv you out of here already man you you gone you finish that is not a spiritual mark all right it's a carnal mark because esau is a carnal man okay that's gonna be it for the lesson lord willing it's been edifying I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming at you with another lesson. Till the next time, I say Shalom.